Welcome back to the channel. Let me ask you this. When was the last time a tablet actually surprised you? Most of the time, tablets feel like either oversized phones or underpowered laptops. But today, we're diving into Apple's boldest attempt. Yet to completely erase that line, the brand new iPad Pro M5. And trust me, this isn't just a spec bump. This is Apple putting its foot down and saying, yes, your laptop should be scared. Apple's iPad Pro lineup has always been a playground for pushing boundaries, but the M5 launch feels different. It's not just another yearly ref Apple doubling down on the idea that a tablet can be your studio, your office, and your gaming console all in one. And at the heart of it, the all new M5 chip. This thing is like strapping a rocket engine onto a Tesla. Sure, the M4 was fast, but the M5 takes performance into desktop territory. We're talking up to 50% faster CPU speeds, console level ray tracing graphics, and an AI neural engine that could probably beat you at chess while editing your 8K video in the background. But let's be real, it's not just about raw horsepower. Apple knows that if you're going to stare at a screen all day, it better look good. And the iPad Pro M5's new Ultra Retina XDR old display is basically a portable Hollywood-grade monitor. Rich blacks, brighter highlights, and buttery smooth. Refresh rates that can scale intelligently to save battery. Artists, designers, and Netflix binge-watchers alike are about to get spoiled. Oh, and Apple Pencil users, you'll notice even lower latency. So your digital doodles finally feel like they're happening in real time. No more blaming your iPad when your drawing looks like a toddler's finger painting. Speaking of design appell. Didn't just slap a new chip inside. Gave the iPad Pro M5 a serious makeover. Thinner bezels, a lighter chassis, and a brushed titanium finish that screams premium. They even re-engineered the camera placement so it looks better when you're in landscape mode. Cause let's face it, nobody's holding a 30-notch iPad. Like a phone during Zoom calls? And in typical Apple fashion, they made it more eco-friendly too with recycled aluminum and rare earth materials. All part of their 2030 carbon neutral pledge. So yes, it's powerful, it's pretty, and it's pretending to save the planet at the same time. Now, let's talk battery life, because performance means nothing if you're tethered to a charger. Thankfully, the M5 chip and old efficiency stretch usage up to 12 to 14 hours which is insane considering how thin this thing is. And with Thunderbolt 4 and USB-C support, not only do you get faster charging, but also the ability to plug in high-speed drives, 4K monitors, or even your camera rig directly into the iPad. Of course, Apple knows that the iPad doesn't live. In isolation, it thrives in the ecosystem. Enter the new Magic Keyboard Pro with a larger haptic trackpad and the Apple Pencil 3 with interchangeable tips and haptic feedback. Translation, whether you're editing in Final Cut, sketching in Procreate, or juggling 20 tabs of research for your thesis, this setup finally feels laptop-like. Addisly, at this point, the iPad isn't competing with other tablets. It's competing with your MacBook. But here's the catch, it's not cheap. The 11-inch model reportedly starts around $999, while the 13-inch jumps to $1,299. And if you max out storage to two terabytes, you're staring down prices well over $2,000. Apple isn't targeting casual. TikTok scrollers hear this is built for professionals, creators, and business users who need raw desktop power and something that fits into a backpack. So where does it stand against the competition? Samsung's Galaxy tabs are solid. Microsoft's Surface line has its fans. But here's the truth. No one else is blending hardware, software, and ecosystem quite like Apple. Exclusive apps like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, seamless handoff with your iPhone and Mac. And Apple's Silicon Advantage mean the iPad. Pro M5 is operating in its own league, and here's why that matters. This iPad isn't just a product. It's Apple's vision of the future. A future where you don't ask, should I buy a laptop or a tablet? Instead, you just buy one device and it is both. For students, it's lightweight power. It's for artists. It's a mobile studio. For businesses, it's secure and enterprise ready. For gamers, well, let's just say Candy Crush has never looked this good. So, final question, should you buy it?
If you're a casual user who only wants Netflix and note-taking, probably. Not. But if you're a professional creator, a student pushing creative boundaries, or someone who wants the absolute best portable performance Apple has ever put in a tablet, then yes. The iPad Pro M5 is a game changer. It's not just another iPad. It's a glimpse at the future of computing. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this breakdown. Subscribe for more deep dives into Apple's biggest launches. And check out the videos on your screen right now for more coverage on the latest tech. The future of the iPad is here and trust me, you'll want to stick around for what's next.